Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we'll speak about the Docker and how you can set up Elasticsearch database for a container. It's uh, not so hard as it sounds, uh, but I think it's a really good thing to show how it's working. So let's start it. You need to create a Docker Compose uh, YAML file here, like this, and then you are ready. So let's say we're working with version 37 and we want the service and we say Elasticsearch that's the search name and what we want is the image and here we want Elasticsearch and right now I want to use 742 and the environment whoops the environment should be this cover type It's building wrong. And then discard time. Single node. It's meaning we only have one node to work with, and that's correct. And the volume we want to do here, it's uh, it should only be uh, for the single node here. We say es uh, data one, and we point it. Um, Point it to the use uh, shared elastic and then the data folder. And that's meaning why we do this it's if you need to upgrade something, then you don't need uh, the collection of your elastic search. You don't need the volume, but then if something's going wrong and you need to destroy the container and uh, then set it up one more time then all your data is disappeared. So I, re I would recommend you to do it this way. And then we have the ports. And the ports number should be uh, 9200 and 9300. And that's only if you need to get access outside of your, in your environment. Like if you have two containers speak together, then you don't need this. But if you need to control it outside, like from your local host and inside the container, you need to, to open the port numbers. The only thing we need to do now is uh, say docker compose up and then we should download the, the Elasticsearch here. And then it's uh, starting up here, you can see everything is running well. And it's the first time, so it could take a little while to do this. But going back for for one uh, channel in channel you can use uh, curl, but I just tested here. It's yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter how you can do this. It's just interesting, but how you can do it. So in this case, you can see this is the body and the pretty, and we can see it's everything is up and running. That's mean your Elastic Search in Docker is now running and it's ready to to take a request from you. So thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoy and if you have any questions please make them in the comments fields below I'll try to answer them as fast as possible and you can download this uh, composer file from my github, the links will be in the description down below and when you're down please hit the subscribe button and yeah that's it I think maybe if you want to like it and put it for your playlist it could be awesome. Thank you so much and see you next time.